It's the new Green Whistle Show. Hello and welcome to episode 14 of the new Green Whistle Show. We are back in the studio still recovering from our Green Whistle trip to Amsterdam last week and here to expose unto you three more devilishly daring artists. We will begin with Adam Kay's unholy trio and their satanic ritual named See Through. Roll that tape! <laughs> along like a stone Samoan giant, this song goes through several exploratory and interesting changes. But due to its size and its intoxication, it does land a bit rough on a lot of these moments too. It's clear to see that the unholy trinity are frothing at the mouth trying to create their vision of grandeur and finesse, much like their idols, Queens of the Stone Age, Them Crooked Vultures and Leonard Skinner. However, the style they are aiming for requires nothing less than perfection to uphold its value in highly technical development, and this is where the Unholy Trinity falls short. Whilst the raw components are there, I believe there is a lot of room to improve, especially when putting something like this onto record. So perhaps next time when you are writing, ask yourself this, WWJHD, what would Josh Homme do? Ask yourself this, and I'm sure you will be coming away with a full set of whistles. However, today we shall be awarding solely one whistle per member, leaving Adam K's Unholy Trinity with three unholy whistles. Check them out right here as they embark on a most excellent journey into one of the most elusive and expressive genres out there. Excellent! And of course, in that description down below. For our second offering this evening, we bring to you an instrumental jazz funk progmeisters of Petra with their sonic commission named Burn Your Dreams. Roll that. <laughs> Thank you. 
I, I'm pretty sure that I've heard about something like this once. A band, uh, there was a band and the, the singer took the band into the woods at night and just left them there. Instruments and all. And with no leader, the band didn't know what to do. And days, weeks, months passed before anyone even went looking for the band or even really realized they were gone because the ego of the singer was so huge, but it was simply too late and they had disappeared. Though it appears we have found them here, ladies and gentlemen, bringing them home, sounding like they are screaming out for direction and leadership, their funk, jazz, grooves and solos tenuously holding together what they have come to call a song. Forgetting that with no vocal leader, they must share the leadership role and work together to create lead lines to take over the storytelling from their disgraced former leader. So whilst I I don't feel comfortable tarnishing the good name of prog legends such as Genesis, Yes, and Pink Floyd. I do feel happy to call this a vocalless jazz funk jam worthy of two and a half whistles and a wake up call. You can truly go prog or you can add vocals and you will have yourself a seriously good band. So tell Old Petra what you think right here and of course in those comments down below. <laughs> <laughs> For the final artist on tonight's show, I'm gonna give you Liam Medigan with his song Memory of You. Yes, you. Roll the tape. All of these places, familiar faces, we once knew. Memories and sorrows, forgotten tomorrows, spent with you. A veil of tears, I wasted years, now you're gone too. I hear you calling, my heart is stolen, but I get through. At the end of the day, we'll keep turning. I keep learning what it is to be To be the best that I can in memory of you Hello? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, I'll tell them. That was the 90s calling. They said they would like their Alanis Morissette style songs back. Much as it is plain to see that the story of the song is very close to Liam's heart, it is also plain to see that the song is rather plain in itself. Like ingesting a rice cracker on a hot dry day, the song gets stuck in its own repetitive accompaniments, leaving the listener somewhat disengaged, which is definitely not what you want when the lyrics mean so much. So here it is, short and sweet my friends, uh, two whistles will be leaving us along with Liam Merrigan. We hope to see these two whistles grow into five as his musical arrangements mature. Check him out right here. And of course, da da down below. We be posting every week on the Wednesday at these times. And if you are still here watching, then let us know by commenting green whistly balls of fire. So you'd better be subscribing, hitting the bell for notifications as well as liking, telling us what you think of the show, one of your preferred social media platforms appearing right here or by the email. This has been the new Green Whistle Show and I have always been wrong. Till next time, good night.